Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether's subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. Hello, all. In Azraf back with some more Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, part twenty, twenty-one, maybe. I mm, count sometimes with the stream. And uh, yeah. I hope everyone's doing good, having a good day or evening or what not, depending on what, on where you are, and, uh, yeah. So I'm done with this mission now, just, uh, the, this cull, cull what mission. And what now I'm level seventeen. Is there anything uh, anything else around here that I I think I looked at that already, did That's uh is there anything else here? Yeah I'm coming I'm coming, damn it. I'm just want to look around and stuff. Come here. Okay, wait, where's she at? And then... Aloy, here. Let's talk. Please, Aloy. Come here. Hey, you got a ladder here. Aloy, here. Talk. talk to Decker. Decker? Yeah, Decker. Please, Aloy. Come here. I'm coming. Yeah. The visions throughout the grove are different now and this one it, it just appeared is this your doing visions have changed that's the one that inspired chief hakaro more testimony of the old ones Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war.
Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zoe. There's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Hey. Might be worth checking out. Return to the base. Oh, for um. But you should know that I got some new pieces since we last went toe to toe. Well, good thing I had. Could we try and find a fireplace? Campfire. May we all fight with your skill, Outlander. Unless we want. Unless we, unless I go the long way. Aloy, a word if you blood of the ten, Aloy, regala denied, the truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kabul. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. You said Kavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms? Yes. But others? The young, especially? care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. A 
I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Yeah, not the side quest. Oh, um. Well, if I need to level up for one of the main quests, seeing as uh, I think one of them's level 25 or, or something, maybe I'll do it for that. But, but, wait. Uh, isn't there campfires? Uh, yeah. The campfire. Oh wait, no. no. Okay, no. See, um, is there There's some in there by so Oh, I could try and, oh, I could try and climb the tall neck. Um, that's, uh, it's got to be a, a campfire. Um, mm. well, mm. it's coming near, yeah, okay. Let's see, return to the base, it's up here. Outlander who stood against Regala and her yes. rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you aid you on your journey i'd be grateful well then be careful if you're traveling southwest champion rebels have set up camp in the hills i'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave thanks for the warning okay let's uh Get back to the camp. Give Gaia this, um, I don't know, the thing. No. Collected. One of the things, one of the... Yeah. Deliver the Aether. Yeah, like this? Oh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? 
Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Osaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. What? Nothing. You just look good, that's all. Get back to studying. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. Something okay. was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. 
but I'm hoping Osaram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Okay, get some of these. Want to get some of these optional conversations in? Carl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. I was hoping you could tell me more about the land gods. For generations, they provided for us. Seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until... the derangement. They had always enriched the soil, but... for several seasons they have glutted it endlessly with mulch. At least now I know why. The... repair bay below was meant to renew them. Without it, they became sick. That is why I must find a way to heal them before my people starve. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains.
Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? N not that I claim to understand how. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I have to go. I guess it's back to reading. Aloy, 
Something the matter. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... ...terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... ...metal. I need to head out. I'll return to our training. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Okay. Enough of some of the optional conversations. But sorry, I just wanted to. Why has she still got a thing on? Exclamation mark. Oh well. Let's go get this thing. Give this Acer to Gaia. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready. Please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond. ...and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself... ...I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You 
said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Okay. I'm level. I'm level eight, eighteen now. Actually, look at my. I've got three skill points. Um. Let's, let's see if I can complete this now. Uh, uh, can I have? I've not got that yet. There's something I have already. Oh wait, the three. Three things on that, so I'm not done with that yet. War, the warrior um, path. Level 18 reached. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. The, oh. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was <laughs> thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Bashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're going to stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Okay. Is that the new room? Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that 
that's too bad. Oh, wait. Switch to a private lock. Okay, so regional control center nine. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs, except personality. So I'm going to sneak in mm. my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes, starting with this little tucked away hideout. August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages. Like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. Okay. Didn't wait to get in here. That's gonna be a way. Maybe there's a. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not, is that like Aaron and Catalo moved their stuff in. Is there any way in wait? Is there any way to get... Hmm... Um, maybe... No. Hmm... Another new room. Ah, there it is. Okay. It's in here. Looks new. like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. Unbelievable. Cradle of the Echoes. Talk to Varl. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a. Um, workbench. If I, well, I don't think there's any. Not sure if I've got anything to. One thing there, that so 
No. Pouch. Crafting pouches. No. Special gear. Where's that music the Osirum plays? Aloy. It's good to see you. Uh, the Nether option. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place, Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. I can't with this. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit, it is strange to see a new Taru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Decca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom and the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're going to tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him but I had no interest in rising above my station.
Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus. It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. <laughs>